Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy. Got a lot to cover today, so I'll get straight to it. Um, I'll start with the Trial of Brothers. Um, as you can see, mine is level 19, so I'm very close to getting him done. Uh, I need about 700 more of the Star 1 pieces and about 70 more of the Star 2 pieces. Um, and then my brothers will be level 20. Um, let's see, at... Just like any of the uh, other big summons, uh, same speed, same t damage, everything. Uh, the Brothers in raises your max brave by 20% when HP is at least 80% of max HP. Um, which isn't bad. Um, y mo most characters without any other buffs, as long as you got them well geared... You could probably hit 10k with just having brothers equipped, as far as max brave goes. And of course, if you got uh, other buffs on, like uh, Eco's HP region buff gives max brave, and uh, Lightning with her uh, f flourish of steel buff. Um, on top of that, you could probably get between. I would say Lightning would be the best one to get the most Max Brave out, um, but that would require A, equipping Brothers um, at level 20, B, obviously Lightning fully geared up, um, C, having Saz with attack boost, uh, the uh, augmented attack boost with his uh, 35 CP weapon. Trying to think of who else. I don't know if there's anybody else who could uh, uh, go along with that. Because usually, S Saz's buff overrides everybody else's just because his is more powerful. But I'm sure you can get her to probably close to like 13, maybe 14k. Uh, max Brave, which, of course, that's a lot of damage. And then, once you're inside, uh, the Summon of Brothers increased that by, like, I'd say close to 17k. That's a lot. Um, anyways, moving on from the Brothers. Um, new event released today. Let me get to it. The Beautiful Arches. Um, I'll go to the details page that way I can give you all the information all right beautiful arches um, the character release is Maria she's from Final Fantasy 2 along with Onion Knight and uh, Furion uh, she is Furion's childhood friend th uh, though sh stout hearted she is not above shedding tears for her fallen comrades so to diplomacy and Empire's incursion, she loses her parents and is separated from her brother, Leon. Thus, she joins the rebel army, hoping to return peace to land. <coughs> uh, her command abilities are Proper Shot, which is a wind elemental ranged brave attack with high turn rate that is guaranteed to hit. And Arrow Rain, which is a group ranged brave attack and group HP attack. HP is shared between all enemies. And party... Recovers party's HP based on HP dealt up to 5% of maximum HP. So, um, she would definitely replace, if you don't need like a, a main healer, you just need a little bit of heals, and you still need a lot of damage, she would definitely be there. Uh, she would make a great asset. Um, say you're just not hitting that mark. Say you're doing a... Uh, say so you're doing one of the level 90, uh, lost chapter bosses. And you're right there, but you keep missing the, uh, don't take so much damage, uh, little side quest. 
but when you use like Eco or maybe Aerith, then sorry guys, I'm making food. But when you use Eco or Aerith, that you just don't have enough damage output to actually deal with the actual boss itself. She, I could see her being a, a really good. She's not a main healer. She's definitely not there to be a healer but she does allow some healing so I don't know she, she would have to to me she seems like she's she's not the best um she's more like a jack of all trades she does enough damage uh of course anybody can tank um it's just there are others who are better at it i.e. snow um, Edge, if you got his 35 CP weapon, and so on and so forth. But, she does seem like a good jack of all trades if you do need it. Um, her armor piece is the Hermes Sandals, um, which I thought was really interesting. Hermes Sandals is usually a, a really rare item in all of the Final Fantasies. Um, I don't think there's a Final Fantasy where Hermes Sandals is not part of the game. Now, the effects may be different, the text may be different, but they're still called Hermes Sandals, and they do similar, uh, similar things for the group. I know, like, Final Fantasy... 13, I believe it is. Uh, Hermes Sandals uh, does haste. Where in Final Fantasy... I think it's 10? Allows for a faster escape. Um, don't quote me on that, on the 10 one. I know in 13, it, it provides haste to the, the whoever's wearing it. Um, but anyways, moving on. The feature characters is Maria, Ivern, and Eco, um, Ice, Earth, and Light to, uh, respectively, um, or blue, yellow, and white, I should say. Um, here's all the items that you can get for, um, all the tokens that you get now. Yeah, they no longer do points if you haven't figured that out. They've been doing these, this uh, token exchange thing, which, I, honestly, I, I say, I actually like it a lot better than just doing the points. Um, here's the EX. Um, this one, you only got to get 26,000. Um, the boss is Spark Eye. He's actually really cool looking. I, I, I actually like the, the art of this boss. That's weird. If you notice in the picture, um, Quizzicotal is the one that's in the party with him. Quizzicotal has not been released. Or, I'm sorry, not Quizzicotal. Uh, Quizzicotal is the summon. Uh, what's her name? Quidus, I think is her name. Uh, anyways, the boss is weak to earth and wind. However, it, he is resistant to thunder and water. Uses competency to raise his attack uh, at level 1. And then its speed as well at level 2. And finally, his defense at level 3. Um, I have not done this, the, the co-op one yet, so I don't know exactly which summon to use, but if I had to guess, it'd probably be Sylph and Chocobo. Um, usually it's one trial, so you want to try to deal with them as fast as possible.
All right, for the event draw, um, obviously Maria is going to get her 15 and 35 CP weapon. Uh, Ivern came up with his 35 CP weapon as well, and of course, uh, Eco hers has already been out. Um, I've got my priest and magic rag it already maxed out for my Eco. But uh, moving on, uh, Yoshi's bow. Uh, augments arrow rain increases brave damage when attacking a single enemy further increase brave damage increase turn rate increase HP recovery limit from 5% to 15% and then grants attack up one to the party for three turns the Ulysses uh, augments uh, Ivor and scatter shot it makes it guaranteed to hit increase brave damage increase chance of inflicting range resist down which that's actually a new debuff. Uh, he'll be the first one to uh, be able to inflict uh, ranged resist down debuff on anybody. And grants Brave Region to self for three turns. Uh, the Magic Racket you should already know about. The Mithril Bow. Uh, I miss Proper Shot. Increased Brave Damage and Turn Rate. Grants Max Brave up one and Brave Region to self for three turns. The Valiant, uh, which you guys should already be familiar with, but we haven't used Ivern in a really long time. Um, I missed the Canister Shot, increase brave, increase brave Damage, increase Effective and Duration of Speed down 1 from 3 turns to 4 turns, and grants Max Brave up 1 to self for 4 turns. Um, that's it as far as the weapons go. I only have six tickets, so I'll go ahead and pop my six tickets and see if I can't get lucky real quick. I doubt it, but we're going to see. I actually had some pretty good luck here recently um, with getting some good weapons, actually. Alright, I got nothing. Um, go to my weapons real quick. Um, I went from not having anything from Kuja to having his, uh, 15 CP weapon fully maxed out. Um, I pulled another Kiku Yuji Manji, uh, w the 15 CP weapon for Edge, um, There's something else I got. Oh, I got uh, Squall's Fury Blade. Um, which I'll be leveling that up as well. And I got the Lullaby Rod for uh, Yuna. Oh yeah, and I also got the... Uh, where is she? I also got the Hunter's Rod for... Uh, Vanille, so a lot of good pulls right there. Uh, at least for the free to play players, that's definitely amazing. I don't think there was anything else that I got. Let me double check. Yeah, nothing too uh, potent, at least. Unfortunately, um, I don't have my 5k gems yet to do uh, an actual multi draw. Sorry about the break, guys. I uh, had a good deal with some stuff. Um, anyways, continuing on with the beautiful archeress. Uh, I'm going to go through here and go ahead and finish that. I apologize for my dog barking in the background. He's a little hyper today.
As you can see so far, it's still easy as it always is. And there's the big beautiful boss right there. His name is Spark Eye. However, he looks like he's ice based, not thunder. Anyway, he's gonna die. And he's dead. Pretty simple. That's how I'm assuming how the 70 co-op is going to go. Ooh, got the Hermes sandals. I'm going to the video. I need to take off my auto. I don't know why I haven't done it yet. My dog is still going nuts out there. I apologize, guys.
That actually hurt. I think I may have actually, uh, have to repeat this one. Barely 67 freaking HP. That's alright, I'll repeat that later um, off camera. Got one more to go, and then I will be done. I'm actually going to switch out you, though. Yeah, let's turn auto battle off. Oh, Garuda. Sit down. And last but not least, the big, beautiful boss. Alright, this time I'm not going to actually mess this up, though, so...
There we go. A lot better that time. Level 40, I kind of got antsy and thought I could beat it within time of him attacking, but I do on level 50, so that's all that matters. Anyways, that's going to be it. Uh, I got some stuff to do around the house before I can continue playing, but anyways, there's level 10 through 50. Not too hard. Um... I'm going to attempt to do the mysterious Black Mage EX quest later and see if I can't complete it. I have yet to attempt it. Um, with this one, I should have no problem because my eco is already fully maxed out completely. Um, I just gotta find two other replacements because my Ivern and Maria is nowhere close they don't have any weapons uh maria's only got the two pieces of gear that i just now got um so i, I won't be able to use them unless i can get uh, a, a good pull which I, i've got 13 days left so uh we'll see what happens between now and then um but that's it as far as the actual event um Yeah, and I'll be uh, re-attempting to do Trials of Brothers EX when I get him to level 20 as well. But, that's it for all that. Um, I'm just going to log off and just do my daily cycle quests and probably burn some more on the World of Illusion trying to get him to level 20. So, make sure you like and uh, subscribe to the video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, I, there is one small note that I want to talk about before, um, I completely sign off. Ignore my bank account. Yes, I've only got $2.87. Rough life. Um, I started playing this game, uh, Sword Art Online, uh, Memory Defrag. It's similar to Final Fantasy, but it's Sword Art online based. I don't know if you guys have ever watched the anime. It's actually one of my favorite animes. Um, so I might start making videos about this as well. Uh, I'm not too sure yet. Okay, a bunch of stuff going on. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm gonna probably start doing videos of this, um, if, uh, if you guys would like to start seeing, uh, videos of Sword Art Online as well as Final Fantasy, let me know, and I'll start making videos of this as well. Um, not too sure about uh, what exactly I'm going to be doing on this one yet. But we will see. Um, I'm still learning. I just started playing yesterday. But anyways, I will catch you guys next time on the next episode. And you guys have a great night.